All right, guys, we're all set up here. Do a DSG service. You see uh, how this fluid looks after about 27,000 miles and uh, a lot of launches. Let's see if we can get in there in OBD-11 when we have to check the uh, DSG temperature for the fluid level and see if we can find the launch count. I bet you I've launched this thing over, over 120 times since, uh, since I got it. And it hasn't had a fluid change yet. So we're gonna do fluid filter on the trans, uh, fluid filter and the oil for the motor, spark plugs, new OEM plugs. Um, and then once we send this stuff back, we're gonna grab brake fluid, front and rear diff, and Haldex to do in probably about a month or so. So really uh, nervous and excited to see how this trans fluid looks. And then after that, we're gonna do this whole rear end refresh. We're gonna pop these bad boys out, paint those. Don't know if we're gonna stay with that. We're gonna swap out this ugly hardware. We're gonna swap out this plate frame and then uh, that bad boy. All right, this filter is a pain in the butt to mess with, but the filter is nice and clean. You can barely see like any specks of anything. Of course there is little specks, but not nearly as much as I expected. And then, uh, well, we gotta pull this out. And this isn't the most accurate representation because uh, you can see all the little floaty stuff from the tree above me in it. Then I sprayed down the trans with um, brake fluid or you know, brake clean to get all the, the juices off of it. But I mean, really, from what I see and what the color I saw when it was leaving the trans, it's not bad. I expect it to be like super dark, super, you know, not clear like not being able to see through it as it was draining but you could see right through it it really didn't look all that bad which is good very good i think the normal change is like 60 or 80k and as i said we're at like 27 so i'll probably do this at least once a year or every 20k after that after this rather so while the trans is warming up we're gonna go ahead swap plates and i got new hardware hopefully the hardware works it'll look a lot better car needs a washing but uh the little things today it should really change the way the rear end looks let's get a picture here like this boom all right we're gonna go unbox this uh spoiler here in a minute too a lot of things going on today took longer than expected now that we're changing oil we finally get to put in this nice racing line magnetic drain plug i have a magnetic one for the uh haldex as well and then plugs for both diffs it's a nice unit Boom, I can barely see the screen, but nice. It actually like lined up perfectly. Let's zoom out. There we go. Hell yeah, brother. Racing line for the win. We got the Burke line goodies up here. Everything's a little wet from, but we should clean up there a little bit better. It's just all that trans fluid kind of runs down by that plug and it gets on all this stuff and all this stuff. So I need to clean it a little more. But, all the Berkeline stuff's looking pretty good. Who drew that on there? What the hell? Someone came under here and just drew a bunch of shit. They must have got real bored. Huh. Crazy. I like rope stuff all over my shit. Anyway, we do need to go to the back and uh, we got to lube up some stuff. Like the sway bar um, bushings. And I like to throw some lube in all these uh, spherical joints. I'm up in these jumps. That's why this stuff's all dirty because well no that's just the factory stuff there is like some grimy looking stuff because i spray everything down with a nice silicone grease and then it kind of flings all over the car like all the excess that comes out of the boots when i spray them down when i cerakoted dvv2 downpipe we need to get a real exhaust on this thing though eventually i feel like that's pretty restrictive when it uh, you can't tell it's bad on camera, but that drops down like significantly. Huh. All right, guys, got the heat gun out. It's pretty freaking hot. Oh, okay. might have to grab a tool, get up in there, and then we'll go across this whole thing and little by little pull it up. I still haven't even unboxed the other wing, so that's how committed I am. I'm very nervous. There we go, little by little. 
It's a cheap gun too. Works really good. Originally got it to do wrap. Uh, and I couldn't do, really wanted to put the DVV2 plate on, but the little titanium nuts I got aren't long enough. So I'm about to like modify the, uh, the license plate. Probably cut out some things and then glue it to the plate. We'll see. I don't really have time. We're supposed to get this huge storm soon. Making progress. Little one's pulling out all the sockets. Rylan, can you say hi? Look, look at that. Say hello. You having fun? She's hilarious. Oh, what's that? the last little bit of it Woo! she's off anybody want it i'll sign it send it to you Get this thing up on jack's diff mounts and this thing are blown bunch of work to do on this thing still fcp keeps messing up my orders man and then the spark plugs that came with this they didn't that they weren't packaged right they didn't even put uh oil or plastic around the oil stuff backyard's kind of a mess because of the neighbor's tree i gotta clean up back here so don't mind me all right guys new plate so the screws i bought were too short and they were expensive titanium because i didn't want them to rust and be ugly so for me to make this work i had to drill out the holes i need to like clean this up a little bit i had to drill out the holes and then 3m this to the plate Hey, but it worked. Now, we gotta unbox this bad boy. See what this actually looks like. Go outside, show you. We got the uh, the old, whatchamacallit, little wing off. It actually looks really clean without it. Car's nice and wet right now, but uh, she's wingless. Kinda dig it. Kinda plain. We'll see. All right. This says that is what it is. All right, guys. So this is supposed to be. I'll get up a screenshot here. It says it's for the A3 and A3S line. It doesn't say it's for the 8Y or for the S3 or RS3 of the 8Y variety. It's only listed for the A3 for some reason. So, and it was on pre-order when I ordered it. Oh, this is gonna suck on here. What's all right, I actually got some uh, instructions. I'm saying use masking tape to mark it, the set and the third. I do it a little bit different. Sticker, and they actually sent some like, uh, some stuff to clean this, the area first. So that's kind of cool. This is what it is. We're gonna be taking that sticker off and that sticker off and that sticker off. But uh, let's go stick it on the car and see if it actually fits. It's officially on now, right as the rain's starting to come back up. Nice reflective on this side. It's going to be hard to not get that all scratched up. I dig it. I dig it. Now we'll see if we like these things red or if we're going to keep them red to match the taillights. Really don't know. Guys, we're back out here the next day. I put up the little Photoshop I made last night. So I at least want to try it. Instead of doing Plasti Dip, a Plasti Dip, I might wrap them. I just uh, wrapped the old lady's uh, door handles on one side of the truck. I got tired. She needs to go shopping. Um, and did a pretty good job. So I might just slap a piece of vinyl on there on one side. Maybe do the other side Plasti Dip or I don't know. We'll see what we come up with. But saw this trick online a while back using a socket to uh push on the the clips under here so i'll show you guys try and get a video of it it's gonna be very hard to do but there's three clips on the back of this all right you guys see that clip in the middle of the screen there's three of them another one like right up there and another one kind of like behind that bracket it's really hard to show if the car was up on the left this would be way easier but I'm the car's not even jacked up and i'm doing this my nose is touching my exhaust right now. I mean, just slip the socket over that bad boy and it'll it'll close those clips and push it out at the same time. 
Woohoo! We got it. You know, it's actually really fun. It's one of the, my favorite things about doing car stuff is when you're by yourself and you have to figure out ways to do things without anybody else's help. It's one of my favorite things. Now, this was difficult. I got a nice scratch down my arm and shit now. I got this so you guys can see how this was working. I didn't even bring my, my tools just sitting up here in the box somewhere, I think. Oh, yep, there it is. You can see, I can show you guys here what I was talking about. How the socket goes on. And then as you press, it compresses it. So what I did, I got this tool. You got three of them. So I got it like in between here. And I got some pressure on it and it just, it was, it was sitting here by itself. So when I got up in there with one hand, pressed on this one, and then it kind of like came snug. And then I reached out from the back of the car and pushed on this and it popped it. And then I moved it over, did the same thing here, moved it over, did the same thing. This one was the worst one because you can't even like see it. I couldn't even use this little doohickey for that. Um, cause I just couldn't even see it. So I had to like reach up there. That's where I got these nice scratches and uh, popped it out. So let's uh, wipe this down with some alcohol. See if we feel like wrapping it. It's longer than what I thought. An easy piece to wrap though. Guys, got a couple bubbles in it. We'll see, we'll pop it in, see if we like it. It's so dang bright out here. So what do you guys think? is red i think the black looks pretty good the red let me just see this side red looks good just see this side black looks good i don't think i can really go wrong either way and that gloss matches like the gloss of everything else back here so oh no i need to sit here and think for a couple minutes dang booty looking good though Highly, highly, highly recommend wearing some eye protection and maybe even a mask over your mouth because I just ate some dirt and it does not taste great. But we got this bad boy out. All right, another piece down. Don't know if I'm actually going to keep these black. You guys will have to let me know what you would do. I did one. I was like, you know what? Well, at least for the video, they're going black. Check it out here. Close this bad boy up. I like it. In the dark, it looks good. That's a good shot. In the light, it looks good. Yeah, I'm digging that. My boys, let me know what you guys think. What would you do? What would you pick? And again, shout out to Sean at It's Not Stock for getting us this Maxim boy. Wait a little bit for it, like I said, because it was on pre-order, but uh, it's awesome. It fits, it works. So many parts in this car from Sean, like all the exterior stuff, I think, we actually got from Sean. That's Maxton, Rieger, Maxton, Maxton, more Maxton. So a lot of this, uh, all this, all this stuff came from Sean. Go to itsnotstock.com. Actually, I'll put the link down below. You can find all this stuff for your 8YS3. Spice her up a little bit. She looking good. Looking real good. Shout out to DBV2. Put in my order for that intercooler this week. I am so freaking excited for that bad boy to show up. Man, it's going to be a lot of work. I think I'm going to take it to get the pipes. Because I'm getting a throttle pipe and the charge pipe. I want to get those um, to match the bronze in the engine bay and then the intercooler and the pipes that come off that itself, I might do. There's a different Cerakote that's uh, made for like intercooler type things to help dissipate heat. I don't know how expensive it is. I need to look into it. Um, so we might go ahead and do that. So it might be like a few week process afterwards just to get the stuff Cerakoted. And then I want to get those Plasma Man uh, clamps and then they'll need to get welded on. So it might be. A little bit but i want this to be perfect i want it done right the first time i don't want to be like oh man i wish i did this and did that i just want it i want it done i want to do it right the first time man looks so good anyway drop it down below what you guys think black red um i think i'm gonna rock black for a while i'm liking it we need to see it in some different uh 
some different lighting, but so far, so great. Again, shout out to Sean. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip flop. Is it good? Whoa, I'm all zooming in on your face. Is it good enough for you? What do you think? Blue eyes. Do you approve? <laughs> Dad really likes it. It looks so good. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> You're hiding the camera. Blue eyes. You're hiding the camera, blue eyes. You're so cute. You're so cute.